I think that, you know, a lot of people point the finger at, at Suge, um, you know, and I give Puff his props for keeping it cool when it, when it went off. But there were some things that I think were said earlier on in the show that probably triggered Suge to feel like, hey, I'm just going to go up here and stun on these, these fools or whatever. Okay. So, so hold on. Let's, let's, let's go back. What were some of those things that were said <laughs> along the before that happened that, that got him to that? Because hey, hey, I, I I was in the building, but I was running around doing my Tommy Boy shit, so I wasn't even sitting in my chair. I, you know, I was shaking hands, kissing babies. I didn't even understand what was going on. What were some of the things that were said to get Shug to that point? I don't know if I should give you this exclusive. Uh, uh, I need. Mean, I haven't shared this this yet. Um, but one thing was when, because Death Row opened the show with that whole medley with the jail cells and explosions and rolling out Snoop on the on the uh, stretcher and everything. That shit was incredible. Set the whole show mm -hmm. off. The crowd was going crazy. Now, maybe an hour or whatever later, the Bad Boy performance happened with, with all of Puff's artists, Big, Kim and Junior Mafia, uh, Total, Craig Mack. I mean, their shit was, was incredible as well. Um, but at the beginning of that performance, Puff says he came out and he said something before the show started. Uh, he was kind of like in the dark under a spotlight, something about, you know, I live in the East and I'll die in the East. And in my mind, you know, that's one of the things because, you know, like you said, there had been East and West you know, drama going on for years. So that's another thing, you know, the East and West tension goes back to the eighties, you know, with the ghetto boys and, and all the artists from the West coast that felt like New York was shitting on them and didn't give them no, no credit and didn't think that they were, you know, were, were, you know, were, were good, were making good music. And then they were right about that. I mean, New York was very, you know, just very New York centered for years mm -hmm. and, and wasn't open to people, and that was, mm -hmm. a, you know, a thing that I made sure in running the source, even though being in New York City, you know, I made sure that we showed love to everybody from every city, every region, and you go back through those sources, you'll see, you know, every West Coast, down mm -hmm. South, was getting their their props from if they were making good music, and I mean, the Ghetto Boys shit was popping in, in 88, I mean, you know, the, mm -hmm. all, all of these things were, you know, were, were big, so, um, that tension had been going on for years. So there wasn't any mm. particular East-West tension going into that night. And to me, you know, being that it was a New York crowd in New York, you know, the majority of those 5,000 people were people who bought tickets from the New York area to attend. Mm. You know, the front was the people that were invited or whatever from the labels and everything mm. and the artists. And, uh, you know, I think that kind of set a tone of like, hey, the East Coast is in this motherfucker, da da da. You know, to me, I've never spoke to Suge about it, but that's one of the things I believe, you know, probably went through his mind. Like, man, I'm gonna go up here and, and I'm gonna stun on these fools, man, because we're the shit right now. And they were, you know, and you could see even when Snoop went up and said, you know, to qu calm shit down, and he was like, you know what I mean? Like, y'all don't got love for Death Row or Snoop Dogg. Motherfuckers had to be like, yeah, I mean, we pretty much do listen to your shit. We bump your shit too, you know what I mean? So uh, they were they were at the top, and Bad Boy was you know just coming up right on their tail, you know, on their heels. But Death Row was was the dominant force of hip hop at that time. Batman scoop.